Speaking at Chatham House in London, Tang Chi Hua says reform and opening up has brought China major benefits over the past three decades. We needed reform. We needed to take a planned economy and transform it into a market economy. Secondly, we needed to open up. We needed to open up our country to the rest of the world. This was a difficult decision to make, a decision whose success or failure would determine the fate of over a billion people. It's led to major economic growth that's benefited many parts of the country. China's economy has gone from verge of utter collapse to becoming the fourth largest in the world. 1.3 billion Chinese people have moved from abject poverty to a very much improved livelihood. Chinese society has gone from being closed to being open. Of particular note is the unprecedented expansion of individual freedom, freedom of thought, freedom of movement, and freedom of to pursue economic opportunity. Nevertheless, the developments have also brought economic inequalities for Chinese society. The unbalanced nature of economic growth had increased the disparity between the rich and the poor, between urban and rural populations, and between coastal and inland regions. The unbalanced nature of economic growth has also brought about huge environmental challenges, the need to improve the quality of air and water, and the way to deal with the thirst for energy and raw material. He says China has to address those problems to meet the needs of its people. China must build on the success of the past 30 years, continue to develop its, its economy through further deepening of reform and opening up to the world. But economic development must be balanced and sustainable. Rural area income must be raised and innovation and technology must be further emphasized as the economy restructures. The central government will need to be even more responsive to the need of the people in providing better public services in general and education, health care and social security in particular. On the issue of democracy, he felt China was moving in the right direction. In the years ahead, the country will continue to develop and refine the electoral democracy and consultative democracy. The fact is China wants to develop a good system of democracy. But China cannot just copy systems of democracy from other countries. China is developing a system of democracy that suits China's unique culture, history and stages of development. On foreign policy, he spoke of China's desire to work with countries like the UK. China's relationship with the United Kingdom is a very important bilateral relationship, which finds its roots at the dawn of the People's Republic of China. UK was the first among Western nations to recognize the PRC. In more recent history, the, mo the smooth handover of Hong Kong back to China, an act of unprecedented complexity, ushered in a new chapter of Sino-British relations. China is now looking to be part of the international community and build on its economic and political success and develop into a global powerhouse.